third leg of the journey sets off from Oyale to Mombasa via Mandera. Such an epic journey along East Africa's most volatile and dangerous region to travel. The coastal regions in the northeastern region of Kenya near the Somali border are not safe to travel due to risk of kidnapping and attacks. The dispute between Somali clans also make the region unstable and dangerous. There is increased military and police presence via Congo and frequent roadblocks due to government of Kenya efforts to limit Somali militia attacks and gun running in the border area. The majority of attacks occur in the coastal regions and in the northeast of the country near the Somali border and have included shootings, bombings and grenade attacks. We named this region the land of fear. Where fear is not an option, but fear is permanent. So, what I can say, we only pray for God to lead us to, to, the, to the final destination. Because we don't know what will happen there. Maybe we can, we can, be, we can be ambushed, or we can, we can just live, uh, arrive safely. But all in all, we have to travel reach to our destination. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. The story is yet to come. My name is Noor Ismail Nozol, diesel engineer, filmmaker, storyteller. Join me as I share my passion for building trucks and traveling to the remotest part of northeastern Kenya. bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos. We got lost. We were trying to find the easy routes to reach Banisa, but we made a wrong turn up and we got lost. We thought our friend James was familiar with the routes, but unfortunately he forgot and we took the wrong turn up which leads us to Ethiopia. After a long drive, approximately 120 kilometers, we reached a certain checkpoint at that particular time. We knew that we were on the wrong side of the route plan. And after inquiring the correct routes from the police officer, was being able to guide us and give us an alternative route which eventually will lead us to a village called Banisa. Finally, we found our way back on road, back on adventure. This felt like a real adventure, like gambling with roots, knowing you haven't quite conquered the odds, but they are in your favor. We didn't quite know what was around the corner. Uh, 
Uh, we've been told the road we chose was wrong, and here yeah, we are at the uh, road which is uh, from Ethiopia in Kenya, that's called uh, Panisa, Panisa Road, at the extreme edge of uh, the northern side of, uh, of the country. And such kind of uh, circumstances may occur. But for sure, to get lost, you must uh, know for sure that there must be a way out. Right now we are struggling to get that way out, but we know very sure we will get back on our track. But for now, we have no idea what time we will reach Mandera as planned. Yeah, and right now it's around already 5.30 p.m. With no idea in mind that uh, what time we'll reach. Let's first reach Panisa and we'll see whether if the road is smooth as this, we will decide. But so far we are at the extreme edge of uh, border of Ethiopia and struggling to get back on our track. But I think the only strategy now is to keep confirming from the local because uh, as we don't have much of the local knowledge of knowing the, the track and the track name and the locations but they, I was already, I had that sense that uh, we are going in the wrong direction because due to the position of the sun is on the western side and the, the direction we choose was really going to as if we are going to Ethiopia meaning the north uh, northwestern part of the I was already in that, that sense but it is what it is but now I can even feel now we are going to right edge because I've seen the sun on our western side down and then we have get the eastern part of of the country so opposite direction of the sun where there is a bit of hope yeah because i would try even to try to be confused how comes the map is taking a direction of north when the mandera garissa is on the east so plenty of the camera as you can see the one is crossing the road here yeah it is what it is and uh, this can this i think most of those uh, uh, those uh, mountain uh, on the Ethiopian side. Uh, we are still cruising as usual, but now we have no hope of reaching Mandera today because we are wasting a lot of time by struggling to get lost. I think uh, almost 100 kilometers we lost, which has caused the time, the fuel. So we need to compensate that, but this such kind of uh, circumstances is anticipated. Mostly remember the, 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 the route we choose this time, it's a road we have, we have never been, we have never traveled before. But what we know in mind, uh, over land, you must anticipate to get lost in Africa easily, because there's no clear road designs which can uh, lead you easily. Uh, even sometimes there's some part of uh, African bush or African desert the Google may not have enough knowledge about it. So I think even here we are helping Google to show him the other part, the, remote, the most remotest part of the world. As it was, it was also among our, the motive, the main motive which was driving our trip to go to the remotest part, the most remotest part of the world most remote part of uh, northern Kenya. I think we also we achieving it. Really extreme remote, but it's uh, really remarkably fantastic. And we keep going, struggling to reach, to get our truck. Wow, it is what it is. Story of the road, less trouble. may think we came from Ethiopia. 
because this is not even a real. Moyale Road is totally awkward. It's become now outback road of uh, Mandera. say that uh, 50 kilometers will take us to reach uh, the center uh, and we keep going and see whether that's true or not we have no idea in mind but let's go What you can realize in this road here, plenty of camels. Yeah, so Ethiopia and northern Kenya is well known, but it's uh, by its uh, camels, desert camel. I don't think. I think there's only must only the desert camel. Maybe in Asia, it can be the camel which can uh, can live in the. The cold weather, but most of the, the, the camels, I think, they are made for desert. Not only northern Kenya, Ethiopia, Chad, Mali, north, most of the north, uh, northern North Africa, up to Egypt, even Saudi Arabia, Middle East. Yeah, camel is among the. Um, Domestic storm. Yeah, the spectacular view of the low land. Yeah, so we are dropping down. Wow, what a day! It's a little bit too tiresome, but. Longer can receive a reward with the spectacular views, it will compensate. Hey, someone is calling. Hello, yes, aha, me potek dog. Me poti ya kidogo tumechukua barabara ya Ethiopia tena. Barabara ina shida kini. Tutaweza karibu kufika hapa Arusha. Good. I think that's it. It is what it is. Let us hit the road and reach Arusha. If you can connect so fast so good. And thanks for watching. The road, story of the road, let's travel. But what we do know is that the human soul needs challenge, it needs risks. We cross through all villages along the Ethiopian border to reach Banisa. Our story is getting worse and worse. Been stopped for two or three occasions, but we survived to reach Banisa real adventure and this was it stay tuned all right good morning viewers followers uh, update of this morning briefing in the land the land of, of, of fear and here we are Bamisa is where we are right now here is no movement without escort. Story to come, stay tuned. Yeah, make you feel like nothing but a stranger now. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and remember to hit that bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos.